This is our tale of the tape. Anvar Boy Nazrov with a one-inch reach advantage over the man fighting in his hometown, Abdella Esbiri. That's Boy Nazarov that also has a big fight advantage, 115 to the 57 of Esbiri. Fatigue will certainly play a role in this bout. Both men had a fight earlier tonight. Boy Nazarov in the fight for only four minutes and 50 seconds. And you can see how many strikes he landed and absorbed as Beery clearly at a disadvantage when it comes to this. Yeah, it was tense, but when you look at strikes absorbed, it's actually Boy Nazarov that actually took a few more shots, a little few less to the body, but the time factor plays a big advantage. As well as Boy Nazarov having more time to recover between the fights. Ladies and gentlemen, this contender tournament final is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. He now improves his record to 44 wins with 12 losses, one bout scored even, and 13 career knockouts. At five feet, eight and one half inch, 1.74 meters. He weighed in at 143 pounds, 64.9 kilos. Back tonight, fighting out of Lyon, France. Here is Abdella Esbiri. His opponent fighting out of the white corner improves his professional record to 91 wins with 53 career knockouts. He stands five feet nine inches tall, 1.75 meters, and he weighed in at 142 and one half pounds, 64.7 kilos. Back tonight, fighting out of Uzbekistan, here again, Anvar Boynazarov. And your referee in charge in this bout, Toby, is Gerald. Gentlemen. Okay, gentlemen, this is the final of the contender tournament. You know the rules. Respect my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch club if you want. And back to the corners. Boy Nazarov has already certainly landed Church. knockout of the night honors Church. and a pretty big paycheck. Unless he can top himself here against Esbiri. Who's wearing the black gloves? Boy Nazarov in white. Joe, what kind of fight do you expect? Well, I think it's going to be as Beery to, to be coming forward, where Boy Nazarov's going to use more of his counter shots, trying to land that power, whether uh, instead of those momentum combination style strikes. Not only did we learn that Boy Nazarov has plenty of power, we also learned that he's pretty easy to hit as well, which is a positive for his Beery. Yeah, as Beery, you can see he's putting combinations together to start. He's going to be the more active fighter. Beery trying to keep Boynazarov at range with those push kicks. Yeah, Boynazarov doesn't back up. He just slowly inches, inches forward until he's going to look to land his power punches. With that win earlier tonight and that knockout, Boynazarov improves to 91, 22, and 2 with 53 KOs. Staying very defensive. Good combination from Esbiri. Good exchange. Was that a knockdown? No. Fire. Tobias Gerald says it was a slip. By Nazareth starting to open up with those power hooks. Boy Nazarov, a former Muay Thai world champion, who's invested all of his resources and all of his energy into becoming the best kickboxer he can be. And boy, does he look good tonight. Yeah, he landed an overhand right and a left hook. And he's cutting down on his shots. So he's throwing them coming down the overhand with the right. Oh, nice left hooks. Definitely see that's Boy Nazarov that has the power advantage. Every time he touches Esbiri, there's a reaction. Well, this is where the score count's going to look off because it's Esbiri who's the more active fighter, but glory scoring is based first on knockdown, second on damage. Every time Boy Nazarov lands, he's doing damages, especially with that boxing.
Nice front kicks. Oh, as Barry just absorbed a huge head kick, went back to the ropes, but he's still on his feet. Boy Nazarov's now putting on the pressure. Boy Nazarov smells blood. Look at the shots he's throwing. Now he threw a big looping right hand. Outstanding opening round in this tournament final. We still got two to go if we make it that far. Let's take a look at some of that action, and that's when Asbiri went to throw an uppercut, and then that's when Bornazarov threw that head kick. I think it even cut the eye of Asbiri because I saw a little blood coming oh. down as he went back to his corner, but beautifully timed exit high kick from Bornazarov. Well, Joe, if you look at the total strikes in round one, it was dominated by Asbiri, but obviously the bigger, stronger strikes came from Boynazarov. Yeah, and if I was a judge, I'm valuing those power shots up from Boynazarov. So it'll be interesting to see is it activity versus the power shots. Robin Van Roosmalen, the reigning featherweight champion, is here in the building Ready? tonight, and you've got to believe He's impressed by what he's seen from Anbar Boy Nazarov. But don't count out as Beery, who, judging by this total strikes, may have won round one, according to some judges. Oh, that was a hard low kick from Boy Nazarov. Almost spun as Beery around. And as Beery just looks a little off right now. Yeah, he had a tough first fight with Lali. They both of those guys went back and forth with their kicks. You gotta think as Beery's shins are swollen and sore. You also have to mix in as Beery fighting, having less time to recover, fighting longer, but still doing a good job at being as, as busy as possible. Oh, a spinning kick. Yeah, that's actually his favorite strike. We didn't see it much. I think we saw it once in the first fight. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. Don't throw it too often. It lands better when you mix it in as a surprise. As Beery also likes throwing that lead uppercut, which is a feast or famine type of strike. Absolutely. Especially with Boynazarov having that strong jab. He's got to be careful leading with that lead uppercut. Seems like Boynazarov likes to take the, the beginning of the rounds off, really finds his range, and then near the end of the round, he seems to pick it up. Let's see if that's one of his strategies. As Beery showing some great conditioning, considering he's already fought a three-round fight. Still out landing and out throwing. Boynazarov thus far, 150 total strikes thrown, 77 landed for the Frenchman. Overhand right connects, but Boy Nazarov walked right through it. Boy Nazarov does need to be careful when he's when he's throwing multiple punches. He keeps his chin and his hands a little low. Still needs to be careful for that punching power. When Boy Nazarov gets inside, it's just a scary feeling. You just sense that something bad's gonna happen. Yeah, boy, Nazarov just doesn't move. No matter what, he just keeps coming forward, and that's why Esbira keeps landing that front kick. It's the longest weapon, and it's the one to keep Boy Nazarov away from him for a split second. There's the uppercut, splits the guard and connects. Yeah, that's the one he needs. Boy Nazarov's keeping his hands really steady, so that's when he's angling off, landing those uppercuts. Good round for Esbira. Absolutely. Still, though, you cringe when he gets into those exchanges. You just know if Boy Nazarov lands a left hook, it could be lights out. So as Beery in round two, showing that he's still got plenty left in the tank. Yeah, he looked impressive that round. He claimed to have good conditioning and good cardio, and we hear that from a lot of fighters, but we don't see it. But he's definitely proving that he has possibly the better conditioning of the two. Barry mixed in his spinning back kick. Still blocked by Bornazarov, but still looks good on the judges, trying to mix in spectacular technique. And that's where he just dipped off his head to the right, mixed in that uppercut. 
But Boynazarov is still doing a good job at staying defensive. But you've got to look at dominating factors. And another world-class welterweight in the house, Joanne Congolo out of Switzerland. Round three scheduled for three. This is the finals of our featherweight contender tournament. The winner gets a future title opportunity. Who's it going to be, Boy Nazarov or Esbiri? Could very easily be one round apiece, spinning back fist. Yeah, just mixing that spinning back kick with the spinning back fist. But I, it feels like his, his strategy is to step off center line. So that you're seeing he's moving outside. Because Boy Nazarov comes straight, Esbiri's going to angle off and mix in uppercuts. Look at the leg kicks, 27 to 6, the edge to Esbiri. Esbiri very well could be two rounds ahead as Boynazarov has picked up his output. Yeah, it's still up in the air. It could easily be one round apiece, that's how I have it. I still think those power shots from Boynazarov in that first round did a lot of good work. Esbiri was just so busy and active in that second round, I gotta give it to him. It's certainly the biggest night of Esbiri's career in his hometown of Lyon, a chance to book his ticket for a world title opportunity. Could have been low. They both acknowledge it, and we move on. Minute and a half to go here in round three. Back to those front kicks, give him a little second to breathe. Possibly a mixed in, mixed in uppercut, we've seen that quite a bit. Just continually to go back to those low kicks. Good action here in round three. The Nazarov. crowd trying to get behind their hometown hero. That boy Nazarov showing his conditioning now. Five seconds left. The French crowd is awake. That uppercut again just misses. This period just showing so much heart. Doesn't want to give up. He's scoring really well. Got to be careful exchanging hooks with Boy Nazarov. Close hooks. As Barry looking over, not sure what at. Ten seconds left. Both guys just going for it. What a finish! Fantastic fight between Boy Nazarov and As Barry, but there can only be one winner. That was just an intense ending. Both of those guys just looked at each other, went face to face, and yelled at each other. So. A lot of energy still. Both guys think they have it. Abdella Esbiri willing to risk it all to throw hands with Boynazarov. Yeah, we heard that 10 second clap and both guys knew the fight was in the air and just started throwing as many and different things as they could. And this is that ending where they both looked at each other, yelling back and forth. <laughs> Amazing energy. How great is that? I know we won't get another round, Joe, but sure would like to see another one. Oh, definitely. Not much separating these two, although the statistics will tell you a different story as Beery with 142 total strikes compared to 56 for Boy Nazarov. Who's headed to featherweight gold? We'll find out when we return here in France. Welcome back to Lyon, France. Let's see these highlights, Joe, and there are plenty of them. Yeah, it was a very fun fight to watch. Both guys really left it out there. Boy, Nazarov landed some good power in the first round, and then as Beery started to wake up, started putting into good, good uppercuts together, started being as busy as he possibly could, showcasing some good spin kicks, spinning back fists. And then just when both of those guys heard that 10 seconds, it was just an all-out war, back and forth. 
And there's that intense ending. I'm sure both of those guys would like possibly an extra round. And would love to see these two collide again where they're both at 100%. I have a feeling we will one day, regardless of the outcome. Here are the total strike stats, and it certainly leans very heavily towards the Frenchman. As Beery threw a lot of low kicks that were unchecked by Bonazarov. Strike absorbed. It's as Beery really focusing on attacking the body of Bonazarov, where Bonazarov was focusing more on the headshot. For the official decision now, we go back into the ring, and Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. After three tournament rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals. One season, 29-28. The other four all score at 30-27. A unanimous decision for your winner. And now, glory contender tournament champion, Abdella! The Ramon Deckers Trophy, Glory Chairman Pierre Andoran, and kickboxing living legend and France's own Jerome LeBanner. Jerome LeBanner showing respect to his fellow Frenchmen. And let's be honest, not many people thought Esbiri was going to come in here and win this tournament. No, definitely not. He was an underdog in the tournament. And especially seeing Bornazarov's first performance against Pinko with that knockout. And, Bornaz and Esbiri having a tough first fight showed a lot of heart and great conditioning. Insane conditioning, actually. Anything can happen in glory kickboxing, and there's your proof of Della Esbiri. Can he be a future champion in this sport? Oh, absolutely. You should see the way he was mixing up his strikes. He keeps coming forward. He's an active, busy fighter. He's got knockout power. He's got the full package. I think we'll see him a lot more. So he could have glory gold around his waist one day.